凡是过往皆为序曲。这是我们今天的第一个 Double Eleven, the biggest online shopping festival in China, set another sales record in 2020. The Chinese shopping extravaganza on over 20 online platforms hit over 840 billion yuan. That's 129 billion U.S. dollars, an increase of almost 30 percent from a year ago. Behind the record online sales is China's enormous market of 1.4 billion people. I think there's a lot of potential、uh, if you look at the. Size of the market, local market expansion, and high-quality development. These are the two concepts behind the first loop of China's dual circulation strategy, known as domestic circulation. Through the years, a huge population with a rising middle class and increasing disposable incomes have been a significant force driving domestic demand. Official statistics show that China's per capita disposable income reached over 32,000 yuan, or nearly $5,000, in 2020, increasing by around 35 percent compared to 2016. Higher disposable incomes also mean that spending expands from just the necessities to other priorities. For example, more and more Chinese choose to travel to different places farther from home. In 2019. Chinese people made over six billion trips across the country, about one billion more trips compared to 2017. This saw a rise of over one trillion yuan to more than 5.7 trillion yuan in domestic tourism consumption in 2019. Luxury items and eco-friendly products with higher price tags are included in consumers' choices. McKinsey predicts that Chinese luxury spending is expected to reach over one trillion yuan by 2025. Accounting for 65 percent of this sector's growth worldwide, with expanded 5G internet access and seamless logistics, e-commerce in China is skyrocketing. Data shows that in 2020, over 780 million Chinese bought products via the internet, increasing online retail sales by almost 11 percent from a year ago to nearly 12 trillion yuan. Among Chinese internet users with online shopping savvy. Those aged over 60 make up only 10 percent, but the demographic's percentage in overall online retail sales are expected to rise as technology is adapted to make smartphone use more widely accepted among senior citizens. That, 当然有些老人可能会 We know that many seniors have problems using smartphones and computers. We are now developing technologies to help seniors use electronic devices in an easier way. Electric appliances and digital products, including smartphones, ranked second among the items most shopped for during the Double Eleven Shopping Festival. The growing appetite of Chinese consumers for high-quality products will drive companies to invest more in innovation. This, in turn, contributes to the goal of high-quality growth. Provincial governments such as Zhejiang are supporting innovation by setting up smart cities, such as the Qiantang New Area in Hangzhou. The Qiantang New Area seeks to promote industrial upgrading through technological innovation. In 2020, technology-based small and medium-sized enterprises in the area grew by 130 percent. Research and development centers grew by nearly 30 percent. The new area also focuses on high-end equipment manufacturing and accelerates the construction of a world-class intelligent manufacturing industry cluster. In the years to come, China seeks to ensure increasing consumption goes hand in hand with improvements to the quality of life. By upgrading consumers' preferences, companies will devote more to innovation to meet their needs.